Okay, guys. We, we need to be really quiet. Especially quiet when we're fishing at nighttime. We're staying alive. Come on. Now, now that I'm recording, I'm not going to get anything. I've been fishing for hours. Come on. There we go. Okay, okay. Shh, shh, shh. What did I get? Is it a... F oh, lag. What about... What did I get? A I got a fish. Okay. Well. How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode 20 of the Minecraft Let's Play. Hopefully, if I get to upload this. Because I tried to upload this a week and a half ago. And I had to delete it from YouTube. Because my video recording software got completely corrupt. And destroyed my video that I worked so hard on. Sad face. Anyway, so there's a lot of changes. Um, I did a lot of off-camera work. And when I say a lot of off-camera work, I am not being facetious. I did a lot of work off-camera. I built this little fishing hut. There's a little sea kelp, uh, cooked kelp blocks here. I built this little pier. I, uh... The inside's really nice, tight quarters, got... Th this is gonna be something, but I have to go to the nether, uh, to, 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 to do it. It's gonna be great. Bedroom, little shelf right there, I don't have anything decorated on it yet. Why can I... Where's my shield? Do I not have a... <gasps> oh, yeah! I forgot. Creator forgot. Too bad he doesn't have any wood. Oh, well. Maybe he has some wood down here in the basamant. Wood? Any wood? Any, any wood? Well, you can have that. I don't need it. Any wood? Any wood anywhere? Wood. Plea. This is my... Okay, this is my bow. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. So, I died off camera. I'm not gonna lie. I was doing a lot of off camera work. I was in the nether, and I tried to swim in lava. And all of my stuff is gone. So now I have new stuff. Sweeping Edge 3. No enchantment on this or this yet, but a wow on this. Okay, I got those from fishing. Uh, this is something that you're not supposed to see yet. You're not supposed to see that. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, infinity, yeah. Great, it's a great thing. I got golden carrots also. Great, it's great stuff. Um, so... I'm gonna show you. We got a railroad, by the way. I built. I built. This is just above ground right now, so that you guys can see. This is gonna be underground. It's very ugly, so I'm gonna take the time to put this underground. Um, this is just so you guys can see my plan for things, because ya boy got some plans for this. Uh, as you can see, this is the little housey home area. Very nice. Very nice. Oop. I opened my timer and I didn't set one so well, this video is gonna be a couple minutes longer than 10 minutes it's probably gonna be like 16 or th maybe 20 I don't know because I got a lot of updates to show you guys clearly I've done a lot of work on the wall it's it's very far now this is annoying but as you can see that right there is a hopper and I'm gonna show you what it is purposed ta tasked with you see that you see how they disappear oh boy have i got something to show you well it was mine the redstone redstone with creator look at this you ready <gasps> it goes into a hopper which 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 goes into this chest right here look at that oh my gosh it's like magic it's like i freaking made this up or something like they should pay me minecraft should be moyang i'm looking for my check in the mail for creating this uh contraption for you <laughs> course naturally do i have anything in here I, I shouldn't so yeah lots of off camera work lots of uh, new things old things things that are still things and things that are different and new and i got a lot to show you guys so this is new i forgot i did this on camera or off camera i did this off camera this is the new enchanting room this is going to be the little library area there's going to be books covering these walls but i've been growing this for a very long time you, we can see the Wayne's. The Wayne's farm is coming along nicely. Lots and lots of vi vi Wayne's. And a creeper blew up my fence and I never replaced it. I also need a piece of wood. If I can find one in here, that would be that would be dandy if I if I can Oh wow yes. I need more though. <laughs> okay. I'm going downstairs. Any hoozle. Uh, so I did a, I did a lot 
lot of stuff off camera. I know. I'm rambling. Sorry. <laughs> it's just that, you know, um, don't I have oak in here somewhere? I think maybe possibly. I wish I could recraft these into blocks. That would be Mo Yang. While you're writing me that check for creating the little railroad system, you need to write me another check for creating a system where you can place these back into blocks. Everybody wants that. Also, I want to be able to do this, huh? Yeah. Can I stack this on top of this, please? Can you guys do that for me? For Christ. Anyway. I need wood. Wood? Can I get some wood, please? I don't want to use this because it's rare. But if I must... Hmm. Okay, I will. One, two. Boop. Okay, part, 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 can, just, can we just... I think it's like... That? Oh, Baby, a triple. Let's get that in that hand. All right, now we're finally cooking with the grease. Actually, that's bad. Don't cook with grease. Grease is bad for you. So I got to show you guys. I uh, I finished the mine off Camry um, because I did so much. And I apologize. I should have probably live streamed it or something because there were several hours of work done. Not on camera. Creeper blew this up. I never filled it in, but it looks okay. Uh, do I have wood in here? Possibly? No wood. Okay, that's, that's fine. Do I leave anything in there? No? Okay, bye. Fine, very fine. So I gotta show you guys the mine, sh mine shaft here. And, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty good if I uh, do say so myself. You know, this railway is not done yet, but, um, I do need that gravel, actually. However, but that's fine. Uh, do I have wood? No wood. Okay, so yeah, it's done, as you can see here. I terraformed the entire thing. Look at that, it's completely hollow. I left this here just so you guys could see how hollow it is also because I don't have, I don't have any solid stone. Do I? I do. Creator, why did you not build that back in, you silly goose? So yeah, completely uh, terraform, beautiful, done. This is the mine shaft. I decided to abandon the actual mine shaft because it was not at diamond level. So there would only be some mine carts with chests in there, and I kind of got them all when I when I went in there the first time. Oh, all good and dandy. So this is the strip mine. Uh, if we go this way, we find some gravel that I had to mine. I'd long mined a lot of gravel. You'll see why in a little bit. I'm working on a big project. This was all gravel. This entire room right here, everything was gravel. Everything you see that's mined out is completely, it's, just, it's all gravel. It's 110% gravel. This room housed diamonds. As you can see, I collected them. Creator, why have you done this to yourself? You fool. Anyway. This was gold, I think. No, this was coal. This was definitely coal. Gold. You just fool. Uh, so if we keep running and running and running, and I'll do this to kind of speed things along. We, a ravine, and I did gold that I didn't get, and um, I completely cleared this place out of all creatures. I just have not returned to collect its riches. I collected a lot of riches, though. There were diamonds right here. There were diamonds right here. This was all diamonds. I got nine out of this. Uh, iron up there. This is big, big, big old, beautiful ravine. Big and beautiful. That's... Oh! Uh, I thought that was the death hole. Yeah. Big, big old, beautiful ravine. Nice, happy place. Fun time. Anyway. This is just to show you guys a little bit of what I did off camera. Lots of light in here, huh? There was, oh my god, there were so many creepers, guys. I almost got killed by a creeper like six times. Six freaking times, guys. And if you keep going, there's like water over there and stuff. Oh, actually, I do want to show you guys this because I I'm not going to be able to excavate it ever. But I want to show it to you guys nonetheless because it's freaking cool looking. Come on, wasting all these chicky nuggies. I'm sorry, what? Who are you? So, all right, let's let's ditch, do one of these jobs. And uh, yeah, we have here a flooded ravine, huh? How you like them apples, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And this side is not flooded. Uh, to be completely frank with you, I 
didn't take the time to realize that this side wasn't flooded, obviously. That's why it's not explored. Nothing over there, nothing over there. I'm gonna have to take you. Because I, I look... Just, I... Creator, you need a new mouse. Support me on Patreon to help me buy a new mouse. I'm kidding, I don't have a Patreon. You guys are funny. You guys are funny. If you think I have a Patreon, golly. I have 81 subscribers. I don't have a Patreon. That would be... Oh, God. You know what I really, really dislike about content creators? Especially on, like, TikTok, who have, like, 7,000 followers or something, and they're like, support me on my PayPal. Nobody wants to pay you for your content, love. Sorry. Nobody. So, anyway, this is partly what I've done off camera. I'm gonna waste even more food here, because... I am very tired of having to run through giant uh, tunnel that I dug. So I freaking despise it very much. Here's the gravel room. If you keep going that way, there's more diamonds. Uh, I got diamonds literally very precariously over a massive lake of lava. Like something out of the nether or something, you know. It was extremely precarious area. It's very heroic of me. I, if I do say so myself. I, I hear him, but I don't see him. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, that's the mine shaft now. So, updated. Yay! Okay. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I just need to get flame on this thing. My slinger here. Don't you t get your head out of the gutter. That's not what it means. It slings arrows, therefore it is a slinger, okay? Jeez. Calling me names. Probably in the comments already typing in the comments. You, you, bad creator for doing that. No, I'm not. It, look, it slings arrows. That's what it does. Oh, I can't pick them up because they're infinity. That's right. So I'm not going to sleep because I'm actually going to show you guys what I've been doing at nighttime. And I'm just gonna show you, I have big plans. That was supposed to be Sid the Sloth, by the way. I'm Sid, Sid the Sloth, Leprosy. Lice. Ooh, Sid. Anyway. Big plans. I got big plans, guys. Like, plans that you don't even realize yet. I actually need, you know what I need? I need, and it's gonna sound crazy, I need dirt. Like, a lot of it. And I think I know just the place to go. You guessed it. The place I just came from. <laughs> I hate my life. Anyway. Let's go ahead and very rapidly. Because things are going to start spawning. And they're going to try to kill me. I'm no longer fearing the night. I've only died three times in this series. And it's going to stay that way. Grab, grab, grab. Probably just grab, grab. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I could have filled in that hole with the dirt that was in that chest. Wow. Goose. Instead of trying to allocate it from another area. Anyway, I tried to make this in sort of the same style as you can see. The roof definitely turned out to be uh, in the same style. However, I'm not completely pleased with it. And I think it's because of this garbage back here. It looks like... Uh, well, it looks like one of those big ancient turtles from one of those, like, anime things. I don't I don't like it. I really don't. I'm gonna have to fix it up. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Ooh! Lag. Lag spike. Jeez! So much... It's, 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 I'm lagging because I'm spawning in entities now. And, um... Oh, whoops. You guys can now see <laughs> what I was hiding in the beginning of the video. Why I wasn't looking over there. That's my big project, guys. My current project. This is my little fishing hut, by the way. I think it's so cute. A little shutters on the window here and, and kelp in the back. It's like a food storage and stuff. I've been fishing all night long for the past many times. So, yes, this is... Uh, lovingly going to be called Black Sand Island. Yes, I acquired the idea from Good Times with Scar. 
Credit where credit is due, okay? Here's the thing, though. The only thing I'm taking, I'm giving him credit for for this, because I'm going to be completely honest with you, okay? This is entirely my design. All right. He decided to build an island. By the way, I'm not done terraforming. I still have to do... I still have to do some terraforming um, on the bottom because this island did not exist. I created it, so I have to terraform the entire thing. But I will give him credit. This is black concrete powder, okay? And that is a nether portal. That's what I'm giving him credit for, okay? In his, in his Hermitcraft series, he did a black sand island where his nether portal was. That's what he's getting credit for. Everything else is entirely my design. He did not incorporate uh, soul sand. He did not incorporate magma blocks. Okay, so what I'm doing with this is this is going to be like sort of summoned up by a, a necromancer, right? Okay, so like a necromancer kind of made an inversion point on, um, I know this side's kind of bare. I need to fix it up a little bit, but I, I ran out of stone. Uh, a necromancer kind of conjured this up as an inversion point, right? So this is going to be the nether portal entry right here. It's a very large portal, as you can see. Um, it's large. That's the temple that I found off camera and looted off camera without telling you guys. So my house is literally right there. Um, and I was like, you know what? Why don't I just start building an island? This is several, several hundred blocks of black concrete powder, which took... Probably about two stacks of ink sacks, probably 10 stacks of gravel and sand each, right? Because you need gravel and sand and dye to make concrete powder. So 10, 10 stacks of gravel and, con or, and sand and probably like two stacks of ink sacks. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Luckily for me, this area is really good at spawning squid. And the drop rate on ink sacks is pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So the plan for this, let me show you, by the way. I love the sound this makes. And what I want to do, actually, you know, with this is... So this is the terraforming that I'm doing, right? I kind of built an island out of sand, and then I'm going to come down with stone. Uh, it's going to be hollow. Don't worry about it. It's just, just don't tell anybody, okay? Anyway, yes, my helmet has respiration too. <laughs> and feather of falling four on the boots. So what I want to do is actually come in here, right, under the stone, and just magma blocks all inside of here so that I get this sound effect all the way around the island, regardless of where I am on the island. Because isn't that so cool? That, that bubble and vortex sound. Sounds so ominous. Anyway, the plan with this is... Uh, this is going to be way over 10 minutes because i got to talk to you guys about plans and such. As you can see, I've started right here a little bit. There's going to be two towering stone spires, right? I'm going to say probably about... Let's see, that would make it about 25 blocks high on each side. Yeah, this one's not done. And I'm going to do dirt and then come over it with stone. It's going to be... Whoa! <laughs> I thought I got sucked under. It's going to be twisting, right? So it's going to be stone that's like twisting out of the portal that kind of looks like, uh, you know, it's well man-made for lack of a better term. And there's going to be magma cubes, like magma blocks, like those spiraling down it and then coming down. And it's going to look like kind of like lava, but not really like a lava flow sort of. You see how it kind of looks like it's lava, but it's hardening. So it's going to look like that. And there's going to be a nice shelf that covers the portal. It's going to be it's going to be really cool looking, basically. It's going to be very ominous and spoopy. I did some exploring. This is the last thing I'm going to show you guys for today's episode. I'm sorry, but it's just that today's an episode of showing you guys what I have found. Because I have great plans. So we're building a wall around the kingdom. As you know, it's going to stop right here. So it's not going to include the fishing hut. And it is going to include my, my crag rock here, right? Which I have to load in because you can't see the whole thing. It's going to lag for a second. Sorry. So there's my crag rock. It's going to go around to the crag rock, right? And actually, it might not, to be completely honest with you, now that we've introduced a new little level to the... This used to be lava. I know, I changed it. 
So what I didn't realize is on episode one, I came around here and I actually slept in that cave right there. Um, or I didn't sleep, but I spent my time in that cave right there when I was looking for bamboo in like early stages of this series. I didn't realize I had my own little lagoon, guys. Look at this. Naturally occurring, freaking awesome looking lagoon. I made that water vault. Yes, that is me. That is, I did that. But I mean, wow. I got wild wow, lag. I got my own little lagoon here. So I might do something with this. It's pretty cool. I was exploring. I actually thought this was an ocean, right? In, in an episode, I said I wanted to adventure this way because I'd never adventured this way. And I thought this was an ocean because my render distance was on like eight and now it is on 10. So you can see clearly it's not an ocean. It's a very deep, very large lake. Well, it's not just a lake, guys. So what I'm about to show you is probably the most beautiful thing. And you can see the water turns green right here. Also gives it an ominous feel, okay? Super ominous, great. Into this area. This area is a savanna, I think. I don't know, let's check. This is a, where is it? My, oh, river, I gotta get out of the boat, stupid. It is a savanna, okay. Except it is a malformed savanna. As you can see, there are floating blocks everywhere. Big floating blocks, it's not like floating blocks, it's floating chunks of mountains, right? Everywhere. So I thought, I was like, all right, I'll go down this river. I'm looking for squid, on the squid hunt for that black sand island. I come down this very narrow river into this little lake area, right? Prepare yourselves, guys. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen naturally occurring in this game. Come around this wall. This is the only way in or out of this, by the way. Come around this wall. Boom. Wow, guys. It's kind of like a cove, right? You got this right here, floating rocks everywhere. So, oh, and everything's kind of dying and dead, and it look, you know, I mean, it's a savanna, so there's darker, dead-looking grass, and... There's a lot of uh, coarse dirt everywhere, and it's, it's really cool, okay? So, this is gonna be the location of our enemy troops, right? We're building a wall for a kingdom, okay? Why would a kingdom need a wall? For protection, so we need protection from something. I'm gonna build a massive necromancer's tower somewhere's abouts in here, probably right there, right? All the way, it's gonna be huge, very ominous looking. Uh, it's gonna require a lot of obsidian, black sand, all that. So it's gonna be freaking excellent, okay? And these are my plans. So that necromancer's tower, right? The necromancer who lives in that tower will be responsible for these giant floating rocks because he's a mage, obviously. Magic does crazy things. And uh, he's gonna be responsible for summoning this portal dangerously close to my territory. And I might even uh, bring some nether, nether pigs, what am I saying? Zombie pigmen from the nether to actually live on this island to kind of even give the effect more that it is a portal inversion area. I'm gonna put some, uh, what's it called? Nether wart on this, on the soul, on some of the soul stand, not all of it, but on some of it, I'm gonna put some nether wart on there so that, you know, again, feeding the inversion effect. This is supposed to be already hardened lava. Uh, but as you can see, you know, it flows, right? It is a flow. It flows from this column down, 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 ouch, into the water right there. So yeah, this is, this is a very big concept. I came up with this one night. I don't even remember what was going through my head when I, when I did, but so yeah, that's, uh, updates on the series, guys. I hope you enjoy the ideas that I'm, I'm doing for you here. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be, whoop, today's episode. Get, get, can you not glitchy? Oh yeah, see pickles for light so that drown don't spawn. Smart, creator smart. I need to do something with it. I like that it hangs over because it's like a, you know, it's a old, a old A-frame nice little no room for an attic but nice little you know anyway peace off guys i'll see you when i see you stay classy stay creative until next time this is creators signing off by the way tell me how you like the new thumbnail huh huh
You recognize it? <laughs> Bye, guys.